Hey, Linz. Oh, what is she up to? <laughs> hey, guys, good morning. Uh, I am going to totally switch gears on you because I was thinking last night, um, you know, we were talking about Zoom calls and how people are kind of like over it in a way. So I thought I'd come up with some ideas to give you some content for your next Zoom call, if it's tonight or perhaps into the weekend. This, this is a little segment I'm going to call, Did You Know? Did You Know? Okay, so some of these you did know because we've talked about them on the show, but I want to repeat them because they're little like tidbits of facts that are kind of fun. Okay, so here we go. I've got a couple of these. Did you know when you're looking at your jeans, the little, the fifth pocket, have we talked about this on the show before, what that fifth pocket was used for? Well, you may not know at home, uh, but that fifth pocket, it was a tradition dating from the 1800s and it was for your pocket watch. What do you put in it now? I don't put anything in there. It's just decorative for me. Too, which I didn't know, um, so I'm bringing it up again because fascinated by this. The lines on the actual cup are telling you sort of how high you're supposed to put different kind of booze. So the lower one is for spirits, for like a mixed drink. The second line is for wine, and then the third line is for beer. Who knew? How about grocery carts? Now I have to actually think about this because I don't think it's all groceries, grocery carts, but there are grocery carts like this that you're looking at right now that have those loops. Those loops, guys. Or for your bags. And there's for the like, I don't know, your eggs or things that are a little bit more uh, fragile. Notebook margins, this is something that I also, I should stop saying I didn't know because all of these I didn't know. Okay, so the margins on a notebook, I always thought they were just to sort of keep you in line, but apparently not. The history of the margin, it sort of dates back to when rats and mice were a really big issue. And because rats and mice sort of eat around the perimeter, they eat around edges of things, that was basically to protect all the content that you have, like the bulk of your writing. Uh, let's look at the fabric. Do you ever get fat, like swatches of fabric with your clothes, like the new clothes you buy? So that's not just for patches. <laughs> Apparently that's to test out the detergent you're using with your laundry. So okay, just to make sure that you're not gonna ruin the piece of clothing that you bought. So they give you that to sort of throw in to see, test uh, how you're gonna wash your clothes. Um, the neck on beer bottles or any bottle, I don't have a beer bottle with me, so I have this. Um, apparently you're supposed to hold it like this, which kind of feels very f funny to me, but it's just because this area, that's what it's for, but this area is like, I guess the temperature of your hand really. Pom poms on a hat. Did you know what, guys, do you know what pom pom on a hat is for? Do you know the history of this? No? Silence? Okay. So pom pom on a hat, winter hats. So apparently when these were designed, Navy soldiers were working below deck and often, you know, the, the ceiling height is really low. So the pom pom would actually protect uh, from hitting their heads on the top. How about those silica gel packets that you get with some items that you buy? They're designed to absorb 50% yep. of moisture around them. Here's a little trick, a little hack. You know how sometimes uh, if you drop your, your phone in the toilet or water, whatever it is, they say to put it in a bag of rice for three days yeah. to get all that moisture out and don't turn it on. Apparently you can just take those packs because their job is to absorb moisture. Yeah. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, pretty cool. How about the hole on the back of your iPhone? Okay, so you know the, li see that little yeah, one yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what that is? No. no. Do you know what it is? No. no. It's a microphone. That's it's a microphone. microphone. Huh. That's the microphone okay. on the back. You know what's so funny about yes. that? How many people do you know? I don't want to touch your phone, but how many people do you know, I know. when they want to talk louder, hold it at the speaker and talk into the bottom of the phone? I know. Because well, yeah, you're supposed That's to keep it like, down great, like that, right? right? Um, yeah, so it gets it at all else. And then the other one that we've that. talked about, but I've never tried it, was this thing. Okay, so the pasta spoon. Oh, the, you can see the sun rising. It's so yeah. pretty. <laughs> um, so I tried this. Yeah. Because, and then I, I just wanted to see, so that's supposed to be the serving for one like person. Like one person. I'm gonna tell you, yeah. Not the enough. majority of my life is like, at le yes, like at least double that. Not even remotely me. enough. Because that, no, I don't think so either. And I was I trying to like I thought it was like to drain the water as... when you picked up the noodles. This is supposed to be your, por oh. I just like funny, to point out. This is supposed uh, to be your portion. The pom pom on the top of the hat to protect the person's head. Yes. Really? That's right. How much, yeah. how much are people well, banging their Well, that was the original heads? design. I think it's... I wouldn't know. I actually but when think you're, it's... When you're head on anything. But now that you say it, I think it's to alert people that here comes a person who oftentimes bangs their head. So... Oh. Uh, I thought it was so it was easy to <laughs> pull I'm still trying to head. shove as much pasta. <laughs> I'm trying to That's shove as much portion? pasta as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Linz, thank you so much for that. Linz, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.